Hi guys, it's Shelby from Me With Love, and today I'm going to show you how to make this adorable little kawaii jam jar. I got requested to do this by Ayu Chi, and I'm not sure if I pronounced that right, so I did write it down by my little pink bunny and my little bear with no ears. Yes. Um, well, you can kind of, no, not really. And this is how her name looks, so Ayu Chi, thank you so much for commenting come doing on my video and thank you for requesting this and hopefully we can get through the tutorial and have some fun so let's get started so to make this jam jar we're going to start off by making a cylinder for the actual jam so we're going to be using the colors that you want for the actual jar which is this right here and I'm just going to be making lemon jam I, I don't know if that's jam I think that might be a marmalade or I don't even know if there's such a thing but we're going to make that anyway so to do that, you're just going to roll it into a cylinder, flatten it down on the table, and keep on doing that until you get a nice cylinder shape. And I actually did that with the color of clay I'm using, which is citron quartz. So now that I have that little nice cylinder, we're going to take a piece of scrap clay. And this won't really be seen, so you don't have to worry about that. And just if you are worrying about that, this is what it is. It's Inside, under this like paper wrapper thingy, is the kind of like lid cap thingy. I don't know what you would call it, but you're just gonna take some clay. I'm just using some glow in the dark, flatten it out on the table to make a coin, it's like this, and hopefully it looks nice and good. Okay, a coin, and then you're going to place that on top of your cylinder to make like a little tiny cap. So that's what you got so far, and now we're going to add the little pretty paper wrapping, which is that right here, this darker pink thing, this thing. And to do that, I'm just going to take some pearl clay, um, and I've colored it yellow, and I'm going to flatten it out with my finger to get a nice, thin, flat sheet like so. And you want nice little edges that are kind of sticking out so that you have a little bit of a more organic shape and that it looks a little bit cuter, I guess. I don't know. Just flatten it out so it's not a perfect circle. And then once you do that, you're going to take it and you're going to place it over your jam jar. And then you can fold down the sides and make it look all nice and frilly and pretty. So I'm going to do this and I will be right back. Okay, so I'm back and I have put on this little kind of frilly paper thing on which is what you see here. And the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna be adding the cap. So taking some translucent clay, you're going to roll a circle and flatten it again to make that coin shape that we did earlier. So here we go, here's my little coin. And make sure it's the same size as the top of your thing and then you're gonna place that on top like the little tiny lid. And I'm gonna push it down to make sure it's nice and secure. So now what we're gonna do is take a very thin snake of translucent clay and this is going to go around the rim of our little jam jar just to give it a little bit more of elevation and just make it look a little bit nicer and just to do that I'm just gonna place it on ah, okay place it on and I'm going to wrap it all the way around my jam jar and then when you get back to the other piece of the clay you're going to take an exacto knife or blade or whatever you have and then just trim it off and then you're going to take anything that you can or your finger and then just smooth them together. Okay, so now I have the lid and the little actual jar kind of done. And what we're going to do now is we are going to add the eyelet pin. So to secure my eyelet pins, I like to put some TLS, which is translucent liquid clay. If you don't have this, you can just skip this step and glue it afterward. Or if you think that it will be nice and secure, then you don't even have to do this at all. But I like to put it in some of that TLS, and then I like to stick it in just where you want it. I like it at the top of the jar because it just is nice and firm up there and just easy to put it in. So, if you did do the TLS step, if you have any kind of gooping out like I do, I like to just spread it around my eyelet pin just to make it nice and thin. And then when that bakes, that will just get all nice and flat and not really stick out anymore. So after you've done that step, we have our eyelet pin in and we have the jar actually kind of done. We can add our little face and we can add the little fruit piece on to the corner. So I'm going to do the face 
afterward um i'm gonna turn off the video because it would take forever if i did it on video just like in my peas in the pod but if you guys really want a tutorial on faces and all different kinds of faces please please leave a comment down below if you want that and to do the fruit piece you guys kind of have to figure it out on your own because you might be doing different ones just make a tiny little simple version of it and stick it onto the corner bake it glaze it and you've got an adorable little jam jar so thank you so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it thank you guys for all the subscribers i have and all the people that comment and like my videos because it's just a big and awesome like it just makes me feel so great so thank you so much for this video and <laughs> Ah! Okay, thank you so much for this video, and I hope to see you guys soon. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment down below on what your favorite jam was and what videos you would like to see. Thank you so much, you guys, for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye! Keep on crafting.